Good evening. This is Judith Takui reporting from Sacred Heart University. In this digital age, how do we make sure the information in the media is real or fake news? The term fake news is commonly used to describe fabricated content that intentionally impersonates as new news coverage of actual events. Fake news is then distributed on the internet on different social media platforms. Here at Sacred Heart, my classmates, Amani Aliamani, Julius Brown and Reham Fadden had the opportunity to discuss about this issue with a media professor and three students. I'd be naive if I said fake news has never swayed me. And I'm ashamed for when it happens. But I think we're all so susceptible to our own ideas and our own beliefs that when we see something that agrees with what we already believe in, we want that to be true. And especially early on in fake news, before we realized it was a thing, it was very easy to say, hey, that's something I agree with, and like share it right away without fact-checking it, thinking about it twice. Um, now I'm much more cautious about it, where I'm going to say, okay, is this true? Actually check the source that's on there, because sometimes now you have like those memes that actually have a source on it. Okay, let's check it, is that a real source? I think it's, I think it's difficult, especially, um, I mean, going back to, you know, times where people really relied on the news heavily and trusted, you know, a lot of reporters out there. Um, I think it's hard currently to trust the media and to trust the news. But that doesn't mean you should stop listening and stop following the reporting. Only because as a journalist myself, our job is to uh, be objectified reporters. Honestly, so, like the people's trust shouldn't be in these corporations in the first place. Right. People's trust should be in the, in their ability to process information. If you trust in your ability to process information, it doesn't matter where the information is coming from. You're going to discern um, accurate and factual things from things that don't look all that together. So, I don't, uh, as far as trust goes, I, I don't think those corporations should get trust back. Yeah, I think his word right now is very strong. He's got a lot of followers on his social media accounts, and I think what he says right now, a lot of people are believing. So, before anyone does judge about the fake news, everyone should just start looking at the facts. Fake news has been a term we have discussed in class all throughout this module. But there is only so much talk and discussion it can do to combat fake news. People need to see examples of fake news and understand the long-term motivations of this sweeping topic. NPR published an article on their website talking about the misleading nature of fake news pertaining to the Black Lives Matter movement. A fake Twitter account called Blacktivist was created to give users the illusion of a platform to voice their opinions. It was later discovered, according to NPR, that this account was created and ran by Russian hackers. Despite the obvious, this isn't the real problem. The real problem is the very real reaction that this account spurred from people about this hot button issue. Many people have common mistakes when reading articles, believing information that is entirely false. However, there are some easy ways to spot elements in the article that are designed to mislead the public into believing fake information. For example, many people completely forget to check the date on many articles leading to rampant spread of misinformation. For example, a recent incident revolving around the early presidency of Donald Trump, where one deceptive website didn't credit CNN, but instead took CNN's 2015 story and slapped a new headline and publication date on it, claiming since Donald Trump won the presidency, Ford has shifted its truck production from Mexico to Ohio, said factcheck.org. I know some of these common mistakes may sound silly, but these are real problems that people often look over. So I ask you, please, when reading news or watching stories that are important to you, remember these mistakes. Stay alert when watching news coverage and dive deeper for more information on brewing stories that interest you. Also below, I provided a few more platforms that are known for exposing fake news and reporting factual evidence. I hope they are a help to you and I will see you guys soon. Thank you.